Whoa. So we are going to be uh, continuing the chapel series that was introduced yesterday by Pastor Sievert, where we're looking at the, the story of Christ uh, going to his crucifixion and resurrection and the, the way that God controlled the situation so that there were certain people in the story, we call it the passion, who accidentally say some things that are really, really true and have profound meaning beyond what they were imagining that they were saying. So uh, today we are going to be looking at Caiaphas. And the phrase that he said is that better that one man die for the people. So here's some context of uh, what happened right before we hear this scripture. Uh, Jesus had just gone to the town of Bethany uh, to uh, raise Lazarus from the dead. So Lazarus was a very good friend of Jesus, along with his sisters Mary and Martha. And of course, such a miracle as raising someone from the dead was a big attention grabber. Uh, We'll hear at the beginning of the scripture for today that it, it, it seemed to cause a lot of people to start to believe and follow Jesus, but it also caused a lot of people to really see Jesus as a big threat to their way of life. And we're going to see that Jesus' enemies, uh, the, the, the Pharisees and chief priests, teachers of the law, they're going to start to really ramp up their efforts to uh, take Jesus out. So uh, here's our scripture. It comes from John chapter 11. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing, they asked. Here is this man performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Then one, one of them, named Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole world perish. So our theme again is truth be told, unwitting witnesses of Christ's passion. The Witness here is highlighted when Caiaphas said, you do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. Now Caiaphas, of course, was just thinking in small terms. He was thinking about how if potentially Jesus kept getting more and more followers, that the Roman government that was ruling over the nation at the time would uh, come in and take over and completely destroy the way of life for the people. And there was probably that threat for the good of the nation, but more likely it was that the the chief priest uh, was more interested in keeping his power and influence over the people. Now, we see this in a bigger context, of course. We see the, the threat that we brought upon ourselves as of people who are sinful and spiteful against God, and how we totally deserve for God to come in and completely condemn us. But God uh, is a just God, and he needs to have that sin paid for, but he's also at the same time an all-loving God. And that all-loving God uh, decided that it would be better that one man die for the people. And that one man, of course, was his only son, Jesus. Uh, So Jesus took on our condemnation. He died for us. And so we are delivered and get to uh, rejoice with him forever in heaven. So even though Caiaphas, of course, did not realize he was saying this larger truth, uh, God designed that during this passion story for for him to to witness, even though he didn't realize it. And we're going to see several more examples of... uh, unwitting witnesses in the next couple of weeks. So I invite you to join me in a a quick prayer. Lord, we know we are sinful and deserve your condemnation. 
Thank you for sending the one man, Jesus, to instead take our condemnation on himself and to deliver us. Help us to live lives that reflect your love to us. Amen. All right, thank you for joining us today, and uh, have a great day.